Prime Minister Trudeau is making sure that everything is just so. With the Quebec crisis behind him, Trudeau went all out, breaking the mold of conventional Canadian politics. This time, his secret kicking practice paid off, and his outfit was designed to draw attention. Well, he was a showman. He was a bigger-than-life presence, and he had an eye for technique and the moment. And, and I, don't, I don't think that's learned, that's, that's timing. The showman was perfecting his act. Cool, athletic, fun-loving, and in pirouetting behind the queen, cheeky and independent. Pierre understood, I think in the way Stanislavski actors understand, that you live the part, but it is a part. It is an act. Uh, and the whole business of politics, the whole business of communicating, the whole business of telling the story is an act you play in which you represent uh, that you are the leader. The truth is most, most people in politics uh, try to be actors. He just happened to be a very good one. Trudeau the fighter changed masks to become Trudeau the lover. There were many glamorous women, and we followed it all with rapt interest. You'll be taking the Buckingham Palace with you tomorrow night. You know, damn it, I, I, I asked if I could <coughs> take somebody, and I was told that it was for prime ministers and presidents and their wives. Uh, so I don't think I'll manage to... Uh, Who did you have in mind? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't give you her address. <laughs> Like the leading man he was, he courted Hollywood stars. The most famous, Barbara Streisand. They were obviously very fond of each other, and they re related very well to each other, and they set each other off. She kept Pierre Trudeau on his toes. He had to, he had to really be at, in top form uh, to deal with Barbara Streisand. In London, he took a glamorous woman to lunch, but she talked to the tabs. Is this the woman who was at lunch with you the other day, sir? Yes, she is. Will she ever have lunch with you again? Well, I, I say I don't discuss my relations with women with the press. If but are, are, you, are you annoyed that uh, she spoke to the press? Um, I rather wish she hadn't. When reporters got too close, he reminded them the press had no place in the bedroom of the Prime Minister. Or else. I want to make it quite clear that as far as I'm concerned, if, if I am a public figure, I'm not public property, and um, I consider it in very bad taste. I know some of you have uh, set yourselves up as the guardians of public morality, uh, but uh, I think this is perhaps a very dangerous precedent, because if, it, uh, if you are entitled to pry into my private affairs, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to pry into yours. After all, you have some responsibility to the public, too. <laughs> He managed to keep the real love of his life a secret. In March of 1971, Trudeau eloped with Margaret Sinclair, a beautiful flower child, 30 years his junior. He had wanted to surprise us, and he did. The marriage was a totally private event. Six years later, it would collapse in a painfully public way. At first, though, they were the picture of a couple in love. They had three sons, two born on Christmas Day. Politically, though, the honeymoon was over. He told demonstrators in Quebec to mange la merde. The economy was drifting, and so was Trudeau's interest. The Trudeau charm was turning to disdain. Prime Minister, if we could change the subject for a second. Uh, connection with heavy water in your announcement tonight. I've had enough of this. And then came the fuddle-duddle incident. Prime Minister interrupted me in a way that you wouldn't expect on the street uh, with, by mouthing, a four-letter obscenity. It's a lie, because I didn't say anything. Did you, Sir, did you mouth it? What does mouth mean? I mean you move, move your lips? Move your, yes, I move my lips. In the words you've been quoted as saying? No. Two words, the first word of which uh, started with F and the second word of which started with O. What is the nature of your thoughts, gentlemen, when you say fuddle-duddle or something like that? <laughs> God, you... For those, for those words you quoted? 
There was little political satisfaction for Trudeau during his middle years in power. The economy went into a tailspin. The separatists, led by his old foe, René Lévesque, took over in Quebec. Our doubts were growing. Why, why does everybody pick you for prime minister every time they, they, there's a vote? We were beginning to wonder the same thing. That's very hard to say. <laughs> very hard to say. I guess they... Um, just like my name, Pierre, Pierre. <laughs> it's a pretty good name. But not good enough to keep our relationship from growing cold. He imposed wage and price controls. It didn't work. No, he tells us to practice restraint at 6.5%. And, and, and look at this carrying on. Private railway coaches. No then he turned his compulsive combativeness Hello. on us. Tell daddy to practice restraint. Pierre's yeah. response, fuddle duddle. I don't like to be pushed around. People are gentle with me. I try to be nice with them. If they want to shove... You'll fight back. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it reminds me of... Uh, I've been reading a lot of clippings about you in preparation for this interview, and it seems that the adjective that is most used to describe you... Arrogant. Is arrogant. And I just wonder... I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I didn't even read them. Often he's thought of as being ar very arrogant. Well, in my years of marriage to him, I've never once seen him being arrogant. He's shy and he's modest and he's, uh, he's very, very kind. I think he was consistent. I mean, people perceived him as tough and arrogant because of a certain way that he was. Uh, we would perceive the same thing as uh, strong, disciplined. Um, certainly the way he raised us was uh, with, with a, a, a certain strength. In our situation, when we're brought up sort of in his world, you know, I don't think, no, he wasn't arrogant. There's no need because there's, you know, he didn't have to explain himself to, uh, to us. You know, we, we, I mean, as any children do, they, we believed in, we believed in him. But we were losing faith and growing restless. Our Canadian affair was headed for the rocks. Trudeau would have to work hard to win our hearts back.